Hello everyone, this is Sierra's Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Shisia Let's Play. We continue for episode 12 from turn 99 in the autumn season of 219. So last time we left off with the siege here in Jiangxia. We're gonna take care of this. It's gonna be a pretty methodical siege. We don't have any juggernauts here in this army. They do have one. So we can't do anything too crazy, and our generals are all pretty low level. We'll see what we can do here. They have quite a few fancy units, some heavy spear guards. I do miss having juggernauts, as we can just burn those guys down. But we have a few trick up our sleeve. Now this is a massive settlement. And we're probably going to pick this corner. Yeah, this is probably the best place. No or fewer interior towers to go through. These are going to be hard to take down, but we do have fire, so that's helpful. Then everyone else come over here. And we'll just get things started. There's three generals, no items, but there are plenty of relationships, so... We might try to squeeze in a duel, because we do have at least a silver item on him. He does have Flame the Phoenix. He could be our solution to... ...the spear guard problem that we're going to have. Juggernaut's over here. Alright, we don't have fire arrows on our... ...onyx dragons either. That's not a big issue. That we can overcome. Uh, we also don't have any melee cab. So looking at the situation, actually, this army is not very well set up for a siege. We can't do what we typically do. Which is kind of waste away the enemy ammo here. That's just not possible. They have enough units where sending our archers to try to pick them off is probably also not going to work. We just don't have enough shots to get that done, so that's on fire. We're good there. We need a couple holes in the wall on this side. So let's crack open a few over here. And then we might look to duel. We have 5% evasion, which is not high, but he has 1%. That should be an easy kill. Close relatives with the strategist, I think. And they might be Oathorns. We're not going to duel him just because his evasion is way too high for us to take care of. So we're trying to overcome sort of the health advantage he has with our better weapon and our slightly higher evasion. Mainly the better weapon. We're having a hard time with this wall. Gonna speed it up. Probably gonna crack all three pieces here. We don't have Wisdom the River either to help with the duels. We'll save whatever shots we have left, maybe to light some fires for the interior towers so we get to do that. All right, there we go. They're done. Let's just keep them here. Oh, they have a administrator inside too, extra general. So the weaker one doesn't want to fight us. We're gonna have to just abuse our Flame of the Phoenix here. To try to get the win without getting killed by enemy cavalry. We have a lot of range advantage. Yeah, they're gonna go after us. We're gonna hopefully get a quick flame and just get out of here. It's not perfect. We can just get out real quick. 
Does he have Stifling Deluge? He does not. Okay, so we're good. We can come here and do whatever we want multiple times. Let's get this to be second group. I'm going to have them go up and kill off the enemy cavalry. Those units are probably the only ones who can hurt our general. It's Wang Zhu's son, Wang Shu. Alright, kill this. We probably need a bigger arc. The wall is giving us fits here. Crossbow is going to be an issue. Their range also kind of match ours. We have 80 on them, so we can't walk too close. We're going to try to pick them off first. If they back off, we can shoot this. Can we get a better arc? There we go. That's what we're looking for, so that we can get over this wall. They're still in formation. They're not in any formation. Go from the back. Just get a quick smash and get out of here. The tighter the formation, the bigger of a hole we can make in it. Back them off a little bit. This is going to take a while for us to get through all this. We can try to sneak this, force them to go back. That doesn't really help us in this case. Let them come back, we'll do a smash around them. Shoot this. Alright, that cavalry's gone. See militia. Should be an easy unit for us to kill. And there should be plenty of friendly fire over here. We go get this kill. Get him deeper. Are they just lining up against the wall here? See some melee caps coming in, We're gonna back off before they actually do some damage to us. Wanna fight him? It's Huang Zhu, that's why he's not dueling. 
They don't have a family relationship. There's no close relative boost on them. I can try to fight him. It would be pretty ugly. We can give it a shot. What we can do is pull him to the side. Then we can just match the bonuses and shut down his ability to be used. We want to pull him out of the settlement by giving us more distance here. And then we'll assist. And we're going to run out of ammo, and there's so many units inside that we need to kill. Okay, he used it, that's fine. He's not going to be able to use it again afterwards. Might have been better if we waited for this, but the cooldown is going to come back anyways. If we lose this fight, it's going to be very bad for us. Because he's our sole enemy infantry killer here. I don't want to waste arrows on that. They're kind of so scattered, I don't know who our archer is going to shoot at. I don't think that's worth it. We basically just keep spamming these. We shut him down and then we try to kill him that way. There is a path where we can charge our cavalry in, march through the center here, through these, and just take this, and then we stall everyone from reaching that with our other units. But our cavalry is actually so weak because it's all militia based that they might rout on that trip. It might not look very good. All right, easy win, who's angry? See, now he triggers the Fallen... Oh, it's Oathworm with him. Alright, we'll pull him out. We can do a triple dismount. It's a sister. Be a pretty easy kill on her. Unless they run away. They stay. Okay, we got him. We're gonna kill Bonzo right here. Dismounted attack speed bonuses. Let's do it. Just the animation's faster. When you're charging around, you don't get to actually use your attack speed. As long as they're not knocking us with the charge, which they're not, should be fairly easy to kill them off. She should route off. This is another family issue. I don't want to get another boost. This is the kill that we want to abuse. And we know they can't use their ability, so this is just very good for us. It's a waste of ammo. Yeah, honestly, charging for the center might be our final kind of win condition here. But first, let's... Do we need to kill him? I don't think we need to kill him. Routing's better. So if I can have Dromu here blow past this unit, get our cavalry going for it, we would have to kind of clear the path for them. This is going to be... Very complicated. A lot of archers as well. Kind of want these guys to tank the archer because they have good, decent armor. And they can kind of fire back a little. Oh, 
All right, we're gonna try this. Do loose formation for them. Smash. We need to bring that that guy down, basically. Charge for this. Our last shot. Let's time it well. Smash that. Alright, good luck, boys. Try to squeeze through. No breaks. No breaks. Pull in. Keep charging. Stall this. Yeah, we killed. We killed Honzu there. Gave them a free heal, but that's fine. Strategist. Go, 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 go. Actually, you two stall this side, you two stall this side. You two chase after that cavalry unit. Push through, go with them, go with them. Yeah, we're just gonna brute force this. Get through, I'll smash through this. Alright, smash. Go, go, go. We'll capture this. And the two that's with us need to charge this guy. Oh, that's a lot of towers. They might hit us with one. Nope, I think if we collide this quickly. Nope, we got burned. Careful, careful, careful. Alright, we're getting a taste of our own medicine. But we should have enough. Another tower here? Capture it. It's okay, we overwhelmed them. All this group. Ooh, there's so many towers. Our general's getting picked off. It's okay, we got this point. Stay on the point. 185, it's like three minutes left. Our job is just to make sure no one can dismount us from this place. Get back in here. Alright, I'm gonna go stall this guy. Because I also don't want them to recapture that, because then they shoot us. 
just like this thing. Eighty five seconds. We're going to suicide the cavalry to stall them off the point. Got a minute left. Twenty eight seconds. Just stand here so they can't get on the point. Sent one back. Need to use him one more time for this. We got it. Oh, that was painful, but this army is not equipped for this type of siege. He died. Right. The arrow towers eventually got him. Wait, this name, it's not the one we had in the beginning. We had He Yan. This is He Yan. This is my guess. This is He Jin's grandson. Who eventually becomes Cao Cao's adopted son because his widowed mother married Cao Cao. Long story short, uh, we will release him. I don't know how we replace this. But we take it. We don't really have a strategist. I feel like we don't even keep old retinue here. We can do a commander. Huh. I don't think the commander is a good solution long term. We'll, we'll throw someone in here first and then we'll probably try to get another strategist. Now, he should have had a wife, so someone should be single now. And we should be able to find another marriage. If we can find, uh, if we can find them on the family tree, this is just massive and difficult to maneuver. Nope. Uh, huh. Ah, you're single. You're single. Okay, so we have two people who are single. He, we just set up divorce. We picked up another. Sentinel. Yeah, they need to reach rank 4 to pick up some resiliency. He got two levels in that one fight. Good for him. Picked up this new guy. Not a fan. Honestly, we can do some more divorces. Is she on the field? Like, if they're not on the field and we have no use for them, we should re-roll for the marriage. Because we really need more strategists. Wait, she's single? Right, because we divorced her this turn. Who's our other single person? Ah, she's right here. Wait, did I just... divorce someone who's not on the tree?
Right, she's actually not... Hmm. She's not family anymore. We could get rid of her. She's giving us minus three public water. She's not a good choice here. Why, why did we pick her? Well, that was a good divorce. Um, let's kick her out. And see what we can do. Uh, we keep getting sentinels. Uh, it's not a bad it's background bonus. We're not going to consider her at all, though. Lack of purpose. Not really considered one. He's distant relative. It's kind of weird. Kind of the shady area of the game. Honestly, I don't need him either, but it'd be nice if he can leave us a nice little wife for us to leave. I don't like either of these characters. Kind of tired of setting up divorces for him, and since he's not happy, we're going to kick him out too. Did I assign him to something? Because I, I don't see him. here. There he is. Yeah, he's just on the bench. Why can't I find him here? Am I blind? There he is. We might just have to wait for the kids to come of age. And also to keep trying these marriages that doesn't work. We'll find a suitable Prime Minister first. It's got to be, you know, one of these commanders that we have with a good background bonus and some excellent traits. That's our faction leader. We really like Outsider for the corruption reduction. Plus two public order. Is she our heir? She's not. Okay, so we could use her. That's one option. That's probably the only option, actually. So she is right here, rank seven as well. We get a bunch of bonuses. See, this is where it gets really confusing. Unless the air position just doesn't give Splinter, or are they treating her? They're treating her as family, so I guess Air just doesn't give Splinter, which I guess it makes sense. It's not really a post. He's not getting us Splinter either, even though he is most definitely a member, but distant, so not being considered here. He's happy enough for me to remove him. It's basically five points of Splinter we're not getting. Not that we need it. The way this is designed is a little bit problematic. Because you never really can buy two chests in a turn. If you do, you automatically don't get the godlike bonus. So it's really just one chest a turn no matter how high you get it. Which is a bit disappointing. Alright, this is not good. We don't like her. We're going to wait till we get a strategist for this. They, they can use some time to rest up a bit. That was a tough fight for them. I'm going to look at the characters here. Any of them... A bad setup. Well, her or oh, his wife is right here. No, those are the people recalled earlier for the turn. We divorced for him. Why is she single? Also, divorce this turn. Okay. Alright, so we have two divorces ready to retry. Yuan Si can get a divorce because we don't have the wife, Lady Jen. We also can't use that wife. Even if we do get her. Uh, another commander. Not automatic goodbye, depending on the traits. 
Yeah, but it's pretty much goodbye. It's gonna be a divorce and a goodbye. We're just gonna have to try again. Three marriages next turn to see how that works. All right, we capture this. Don't eat that. Don't eat that. Need to convert this to corruption reduction. They already went tall. That's excellent. It's going to be food heavy, which they already are. All right, we're not concerned about Zhang Fei. We'll take Huarong next turn. Depending on what they do, we'll decide what to do there. I think that's pretty much it. We kind of covered everything before we ended the turn. Or ended the ep episode last time. It's getting worse across the board, but that's fine. We'll also see if we lose Tribi or not. They really needed to double team Dong. Oh, the High Empire helped us out. If we fought it. We might have been able to help them win. We can't control this army, obviously, but because the map, we might have been able to help loop them a bit more. But it's okay. Oh, they also didn't take. They raided. They do go after Tribi. I can loop once again. We're not looping for this entire thing. It's fine. They also didn't take. Yes, we have a strategist coming of age. Oh, right, marriages. Another commander. Another commander. Ah, strategist. Okay. Not bad. Uh, the two commanders, we'll take a look at them over here, see if they're worth keeping. Tough, friendly, cheerful, not too bad. Uh, he's pretty bad. Peacekeeper, yeah. I think we still divorce both. It's just better to try for more strategies here. We also have a new strategist coming of age. We need to find her on the tree and assign her a husband. Perfect. Okay, a few things we can do. Can't grab it this turn, but that's fine. Any strategists that will work well with them? We can take that, it's not terrible, but they can be a pair. That's the army, so maybe her? We, we do miss having the Juggernaut, but... I think we'll be fine the rest of the way. Are we gonna march? We have a stack that we can summon somewhere. 
I'm leaning towards up north. Oh, we could do the husband and wife combo, or we can just throw her out here. Because we need a stack. They don't have siege weapons, but they could pick up a faction council event and be able to attack us right away next turn. I can also... No, we should wait one more turn. They can go here. That means they can't take it, they have to siege it. Actually, why are we doing corruption reduction when there's no adjacency here? It's isolated on the river. They did not take. So we can try to get that ourselves. We can just wait one turn and then march on that next turn. Hanzo might resummon the force, but it's not going to be a big deal. They can take a turn off. Yeah, we should be fine. We have one more. Summon. I guess we do give them the strategists. We don't really have to care about the husband and wife combo. It's not going to really make or break our army. Now, this is supposed to be a very kind of range heavy army. Let's just do that. And their job would be driving to the capital of Kingdom of Shu Han after they replenish up. Our naval army still about four turns away from attacking it. That's kind of the minimum goal of our campaign against the Obey before we can even consider piecing out. Not that we're in a rush to piece out. We're perfectly fine fighting this. I think we're out of deployments. Yep. Yeah, this is actually a really good commandery. Just because the unique buildings that we picked up. Let's go small regional. Alright, I think we're good. Everyone who's not moving is because they're replenishing. All right, we should be able to pick that up. There is a Nobe army coming near, but they have to go through all these Han land as well. They're at war. Bonzu died. I think this is old age. We didn't do this. We did kill his son, which is why it's going to his daughter. Ling Ling. I don't care that much about that. Xingdu also. Hmm. I guess we might prefer Xingdu just because there's more things to build. Ling Ling is lucrative, but most of it's already built. I'm not sure if I want that. 
Yeah, Xingdu has more things to be built, so let's do that. Uh, that is not one of our characters. Can we get someone? Yuanxi is one of our characters. This is good. I can't steal him as a spy. Ah, oh, we can't get this to match up, can we? You want a real character? Not one of these Nanman garrison generals. That's fine. And then, uh, of course, it's Ling Ling. That's a real person. That is a good one. We're going to take this. Uh, we'll take the experience. Lock him out. And then we want some income boost and cheaper construction. That boost was worth about 13k. Alright, so they are standing still. That's suicidal. We want the 8% corruption reduction. That's worth another 9k. Yeah, corruption is the biggest issue we have across the land. We can't upgrade those copper mine yet. We got the level 5 upgrade unlocked, but we never unlocked the level 4. Which requires a very different one. That group heavily damaged. Flame the Phoenix, yes please. And as always, we're going to give the marriages another try. Champion, that's pretty good. Not a strategist, not good. But maybe, maybe she has good traits. It's not terrible, we're going to keep it. Keep her. She's not a it. They're amassing quite a few armies here. I'm going to let them... Defend. Do they need help? Like, first off, I don't see any siege weapons. So if they do set up siege, I have this army that can turn around. I have this army who's almost done with this. And they can just go over. This is their second fight. They retreated the first one, so it should just be a wipe. We don't need to worry about casualties here. Because I'm thinking maybe we move them by redeployment. We'll sit here for a little bit of replenishing. They can sail up here and find themselves a target. They did not attempt to take don't. They're not on march. I I don't think we have to overreact here. These two are not issues. We'll take it first. Thank you guys for coming. Yeah, by using our kids, the problem is most of them are very low level. So these first couple fights are often going to be super risky in a sense. I don't want him to wear that. Who has the wall combo? Let me peel it from one of them. I don't I don't care who loses that set, but that person automatically gets the nice gold armor, which I, I kind of want to swap. Not him. But who got it? He did. Sure, and burn officer, awesome. Keep it. Give you a better weapon as well. Although Lord of Fire combo is possible. All right, not gonna touch that then. Nobody has an army here. Has an army here. Both can't reach that in a turn. I can come over here, cut them off behind. I don't think I need to show up to help them. I can take this path. Directly towards Rulan. Alright, we basically have this group surrounded. One, two, three, four, five armies. Uh, we're a little bit battered, so it's not fresh. Two incoming. 
two over here, waiting for them to replenish up a bit more, and then our naval sneak. Keep going, keep going. We can land next turn, finally. Yeah, if they can take care of themselves, I can just continue on towards Nan. Pick up Jiangling next turn. If they can't take care of themselves, we'll go help. Actually, throw this in first. Oh, same problem. This is ping vent. We don't need that. Probably going to be food focus, even though we do have a hundred and yeah, we probably don't need that food focus. All right, that's it. Let's see what we can do. Basically nothing. Yeah, we're still deemed getting weaker. Kind of makes sense. We have a lot of battered armies, weakened generals. All right, we do want to see... And put some guys on the field. We have one new champion. Two new champion. Where do we need them? Seeing Duel needs a need multiple armies. Wait, Alright, they can wait. They can wait for uh, strategies to come along. Army slot wise, we have two more army slots. After we get our corruption reduction reform done, which is next season, we just need to pick up this one. That'd be the level five buildings that we need. We need this. Oh, we need this next actually for the mine to get upgraded, so that we can pick up the copper mine bonus. And then we're going to go down the red side. We need the level two forge building, and we also would like a few more armies along the way. Yeah, there's still a lot of reforms we would like to get. It's just a very slow process. Anyways, uh, I think that's all. We had a strategist who comes of age. It's, oh, we have so many kids. Beautiful. So inherently we got a strategist who's not a family member. How are you coming of age in our faction and not a family member? Um, I don't want to kick her out, so we might as well marry her to someone who is a family member. 
And the good thing is, if they're single, we'll see them light up. Didn't we just get a couple kids? There we go. So we just do this. It could be a, a character that we had recruited that came in pregnant, maybe from the Confederation. We got a baby from the faction. That's probably what I'm thinking. There should be someone else who's single, who's female. Uh, Commander, there you are. And you got another champion. Not going to complain about that. Let's see who she gets along better with. Alright, we still desperately need more strategists. I'm not sure if I want to fill out my rosters right now. This would be the last army slot we have. I mean, obviously we can recruit a strategist and then set up a marriage. Uh, where's the line? They're married. They just the line disappeared. But they're also here, right? It's the double print because of the adoption we did. It's it's a weird long story. Uh, the game just basically didn't recognize one of our family member as a family member, and then they got to reprint them on the tree after getting adopted by a later generation character. It's a very messed up story. All right, they decide to go back. No one's really approaching us, nor can they really approach us. Look at all the people they have to fight through to get to us. So we can easily come over here. Oh, oh, we bumped into them. Oops. That's not the end of the world. Could be an ambush here. No, nobody abandoned him. There's no ambush. Nobody abandoned him. I have no idea why Huangzhu decided to declare war on us after we, you know, confederated so many factions, but they did. Wow. And we don't have night battle. Hold on. One, two, three, four. We might have struck the hornet's nest. But we'll, we'll deal with that when that time comes. Right now we're going to just grab as much land as we can for free. Alright, we have Liu Bao's building, we have Liu Bei's building. Once again, really, really good. We don't need that. Um, we probably don't need this either. Because this is actually a decent income producing. We can do a state workshop. We can do a private workshop. And this is beautiful. Alright. That's good. Uh, What to do with this army that's over here? We can force the fight. Because there's a way to win this fight, which is we capture the city center, right? We don't have to go... Like, the reinforcement will be racing for us into the city, right? If we get to the center, we capture it before they get here, then we can win. Of course, the problem is they're still all outside, but that's another story. We at least can kind of buff up the walls. It doesn't look like anyone has siege weapons, right? So they can't take it right away, and then we can collapse our help. Considering that Obey is sending two more stacks, but that's also another story. Uh, we'll we'll cry about it when that time comes. I can't reach the one on March, can we? No. But they're definitely stuck, and I can definitely chase. Uh, we got so close, but we just can't get to. 
Yeah, I mean, we can pick on them now. We are in reinforcement range. They can't beat us one on one. They want to fight us two on two on one. So basically, they have to do two on two. They can't trigger a night battle. So that's one. We get a landing over here. It would be insane if Liu Bei has a stack here. He does not. So that's a free take for us next turn. We have two armies kind of froze out over here. Where do we send him? I mean, technically here, but that's that's slow. I think we don't have a better choice, right? We get over here, get up here. That way we can fight this. And I think the only way to get out of this problem is actually to fight this. And we take the settlement. Yeah, he's feeling good. He has six stacks here, two stacks. He has eight stacks on the field. That might be all he has. He lost all the land. He's down to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces. He has more armies than land. And we definitely can take these two. These are 2v2 over here. This is 1v4, 1v2. One, two, three more coming. Mm, I mean, we're spreading a lot of forces to prepare for the future war against the kingdom of Wu. I think we're going to do pretty much the same thing as we did last episode. We set up this attack, which we'll do at the beginning of next episode. But first, we'll get everything else done so that, you know, we can kick things off pretty quickly. And don't have to worry about things afterwards. Um, let's see what we want. Let me get this upgraded. Guess income? Everything else is good. I am going to move the army here. I don't know if this is enough movement. I mean, we also don't have enough men to take take them on. We need another army here. It's definitely doable. Yeah, we're going to just use this as our save. We'll come back, fight this. Like I said, the way to win, which is actually difficult given we don't actually have any cavalry units. So we're going to be pretty slow. We're basically going to be charging into the settlement. We'll blow up a piece of the wall, charge our guys in, generals first, rush past these guys, which is going to be difficult too. Get into the center, take the center before they can show up and help. Uh, is there any way we can fight this on the field and win this fight? We have a very decent quality of units, but not generals. Like, there's Zhang Fei over here, who's going to be very difficult to kill. Most of their generals are decked out in at least some sort of armor plus weapon. Multiple strategies. A lot of a lot of really bad units, right? Some Nobel's former units, that's the best they have. Uh, E-Archers, a little bit of Imperial units. We might actually want to just fight this. Like, aside from the nine generals we're up against, it's actually pretty doable. We could give Liu Gun a. Uh, I give him a really good set of weapons and armor and have him fight as a sentinel with a decent ability. Do we have any Wisdom of the River to help him out? We don't. It could be winnable. We might actually fight this, like, for real instead of rushing for the center, but 
that's going to be the next episode. We're going to end things here. And hopefully we're going to just beat Liu Bei back. If he loses these four armies here, that one we're going to have to retreat back and wait for our backlog of three armies to get over here. But we kick Liu Bei out of here. And then they're going to push down towards his capital. We can't go through Cao Cao, but we're going to pretty much lay out our army across the borders here. Uh, both Cao Cao and Kingdom of Wu. We probably need two forces, or one force up here is enough. Two. Actually, no, one. Just here. And the rest we spread out across this, and then we just basically make the push once that war comes. And then we'll go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and see you all next time. Bye!